Hello, welcome. This is Jay Overthinker with another episode of Pathfinder Kingmaker. And uh, looks like we're repeating in an encounter. I died to this twice already. Um, what I've learned from the last couple times is first, Amiri is very weak. That 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 strength permanent damage here I got, which she is now at. Let's see here, eleven strength right now. So she's down minus five ability damage there. If you see right there. Um, has really impacted our capability here as a team. I think I might have to end up actually going back and sleeping, but I'll do one more encounter just to show how difficult it, it, it's been. Um, other than that, the last episode I spent just kind of exploring around. I was really looking for moon radishes. Apparently I couldn't find it, so uh, the game kind of pushed me into going to the ancient tomb here to encounter Tartuccio. Or Tartuccio here. I think I want to rearrange everyone's... Um, I don't belt, right? Like, I think before I had acid flax, I forgot, I forgot what reasons were. They were, they were spider related reasons. Um, organized by by weight, I guess. All right, so we're gonna have the tank have all all heal potions since she's gonna be taking a lot of damage. A lot of times she, her downfall is um, just not having enough health here, work, uh, worked here. Also wanna have other people kind of use their slots to support her and give her increased um increased uh, like defenses if 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 needed here which i might for for this particular encounter since the last few times didn't work um but i already have uh shield of faith which i need to be within touch range though so but not too hard i think in this encounter I don't know why. I'm surprised I still have this heavy crossbow. Let's see what happens with the light crossbow. Still at a medium. Because the chain shirt's on. But I don't have any other armor. Darn. Alright. Keep this keep this bad boy on for now. Yeah, I think I like putting the Cloak of Resistance on. Grants a Resistance bonus. I don't think I have a Resistance bonus anywhere else here. Oh, I do. On my belt. Bonuses at the same time usually don't stack. Okay. Where can I see my Resistance? Oh, looks like it added. Gave me increased bonus down there, though. All right, I'll put it on her for now. Seems good. All right, I think with Lindsay here, actually, I can maybe equip her with some wands. Um, probably another potion would probably be beneficial, though. Let's see here. Wait, descending order. And I have one more wand here. I thought I had like a wand of. Oh, I think that was when I was uh. And I took the took took the loot with the mana core area, which I, I couldn't get past since it was a level six uh, level six magical beast. Definitely, aren't, I'm not gonna go there just for the sake of doing it though, um, and, and getting the the couple of magic items there. Hmm. Let's see what other things I have here I can use. Ooh, scroll of bane. This actually might be, might might be useful here. And it's all enemies within a thirty foot burst. This could be this could be useful here. Why am I not using all my slots here? That that, that looks bad in itself. Let's see what else I got going on here. I think with him I'm just going to Yeah, just just slap potions on him. Potions feel like it's pretty stable to put on belts here. Raise dead. I think I'm good with this here. 
Alright, we're gonna approach like I usually approach any other encounter here. Since it's, you know, good to just have good habits. I generally like to scout with the... Uh, like I've said before, scout with a uh, plain J here and then have everyone else kind of fall pretty close here. Um, we did learn with, uh, with this as well that dialogue kind of interrupts this. Um, but yeah, I'm still gonna go through the motions here, I think. Here we go. So we got Tartuccio here. Let me guess. You're still dawdling. Should I Why hurry? Hold your tongue, gnome. Quickly now. We're picking we for a fight. We're trying to get Harem soon. here. It looks Someone like we can actually use the diplomacy to talk Harem to join us, and we failed this time. I cannot say if there be sense in well, it would have been nice. To, I guess I passed the last two times. Suppose I failed this time here. As much as anyone else. Not sure we're going to have Jaythel, though. Lotus's peace awaits us all in the end. Looks like I tried talking her into joining us. Outstanding. Beggars can't I be choosers. Will stop at no! There we go, he does not like me trying to steal. This can't be over. Oh, and she just gets one hit KO'd. Well, that's... That's not gonna bode well for us here. We definitely could've used a little bit more help from her. Um... I want to see what those roll was. 16. Okay, look at this, she's pretty easy to hit. Alright, anyway, here's our plan here. Uh, looks like we got Plain J in the front here already being engaged by this mercenary, so I don't even have the luxury of really moving around. I can only five foot step back. Um, so we definitely need Valerie to step up here to, to protect. Um, and then try to get a Miri in the back here. Um, I guess we need to figure out what what are what these these kind of enemy units are. Uh, we got a level two fighter here. Another level two fighter. Level two wizard. And a level three fighter. Okay, so we're probably have to save this guy for last. He's probably the most durable of out of all of them. I wonder if we just light up this fighter right here since he's so close. This wizard I would like to take out because he's got, you know, he's the only, only unit with a totally different class. Um, but I, th their formation looks pretty kind of broken, like spread out here. I think we can actually just rush this guy down before they get to a good position here, and I think we can actually maybe try to suck them in to come closer. Um, looks like we can at least not knock out the line of sight for this guy here on the left who is holding a bow. So yeah, I think I'm going to try and just kind of maybe act, you know, acrobatics plane J back here and actually move him significantly back here. Um, if he takes a hit, I think he could at least live though. Um, but here we'll, we'll keep for now. We'll keep um, Lindsay somewhat in place here. Maybe took a few steps back here and inspire courage. Kind of establish the buffs early. Right, we got a large person already on. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the, the giant, the giant archer. So definitely trying to get her to waste her her movement here. What if I could delay? Yeah, I'm gonna, but then I have to delay. Her actions will come after her every single turn though. Yeah, definitely gonna maybe just definitely commit to, to the plan here and actually light light this guy up here. Wow, critical miss. Needed a 19 though. Um, so very unfortunate. I forgot to really I should have swapped her her weapon here. Um I wonder what is actually holding her back. I'm at minus two in a general sword. So that's unfortunate here. I think I had to swap her, her weapon. Oh wow, she's attacking twice. That looks like it's gonna hurt. Hit plane J. All right, what do I wanna do with Valerie here? I'm gonna step right up here. And then just bless. Really use the, the bonuses here. Let's see here if I can can acrobatics away. Acrobatics, let's try to do this. Now I definitely can't survive a, a hit here. 
So, yeah, I think it would be very beneficial if I put it back instead. Hopefully I'm not within line of sight of him. This archer here. And then we'll definitely try to try to take this guy out quickly, like we said, before the other guys show up. And it uh, looks like we're already up here. Alright, so then what I want to do here is I'm going to step in. Yep. Let me see what the range on my... What's the range on sleep here? Really need to get... Really want, want, want to use Lindsay to crowd control for... Crowd control that archer over there. See if we can get a daze. We cannot. And we cannot attempt to sleep since she moved. We have to stay still. So we'll try to daze uh, another individual here. Right. It looks like I actually tried to shoot my crossbow instead. So definitely not off to a good start here. Alright, so for this, I'm going to swap to the, the axe here, with a little more accuracy. Let's see if we can try and hit the this fight over here. We're going to do another 5 foot step back. I think I'm going to engage in a shootout with this individual over here. This has got a lot less health. Might be a little easier to hit here. Requires a 10. Did four damage. So yeah, maybe it'll be best to try and take him, take him out with plain J here, and uh, find a way to keep him alive as well. Right, looks like Valerie took eight damage, and then the other fighter stepped up and finished off plain J here. Bit of trouble here. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna definitely have to put these guys to sleep. Wow, put them both to sleep. Outstanding. Very lucky. Um definitely want a five foot step back. Get closer to playing J here so I can set up a, a heal. So I can get trying to get him back up. And then we'll keep trying to now we hit this fighter over here. Yeah. So both my problems and this. Um, and this fighter's having a, I want to say, fairly easy time at least uh, engaging um, Valerie here. Um, so it's not looking good for me overall. So we'll keep trying here. We're gonna get Plain J up. Hopefully this guy doesn't have a turn before he gets a turn. I think he does, actually. Plain J's all at the end here. swinging here. Probably going to be most of the misses here, so I'm not going to really announce each one of these. Uh, really, our goal is to get playing Jay up here, and oh, wow. Now Lindsay's down. That's very bad. Man, she got a critical hit on Lindsay. It is 30 damage. Wipe dry on one hit. Yeah, really need. It looks like I really Let need a mirror like here. Full, full strength. Thought I actually got a heal off on Planet. Yeah, what happened? Me. Was he in maybe in the negatives? Possibly. It's not fully reflected here, though. You have no idea. The game doesn't communicate some of these things very well. But yeah, it looks like the combat looks that I healed him. I think it'll be a good time to reset this since I'm down to two members here. And I'm definitely going to just rest up. Uh, 
rest of Amiri. And see if uh, we have a much easier encounter. Actually, I could just hit Oleg's trading post here. So one thing that held that makes me hold back from actually wanting to to rest her up all the way is because it takes eight hours per point. But it looks like we're gonna need our full strength here. That's what happens when you get poisoned and take so much strength damage. Or just like a better way to rest. I know camping doesn't restore this. I have to rest inside of an inn. One day passed. Alright, so it looks like when I rest once there, I get eight hours. Rest second time, it took a whole day. Still only recovered one strength though. How ridiculous. All right, so we need two more of these. And there, she should be fully recovered. Yeah, five strength damage restored. All right, maybe Balkan might have something that can help me out here. Uh, talk about something else, show me what you have. Price, ascending order. No, descending order. Let's see what the most expensive things he has. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know if I should even gauge, like, our fight with that based on just how poorly it went down. I, I hardly got to do anything with really most of my characters. But we shall attempt this again. Eight hours to travel one way, ten hours to travel the other way. I wonder how the game decides that. Maybe because it was at night. I wonder if it's better to have traveled here during the day. Alright, we're back here again. Alright, here, let's see what we, what we got here. We gotta. Let's uh, fix the belts again. You just do some really, ser really serious buffing and debuffing. Oh yeah, I was gonna bane. Totally forgot about that. So bless and bane. See if we have both these working for us here. Make sure she's equipped with her great axe. Oh, I thought we had a masterwork here. Oh, that would have been good. Oh, that would have been better. I think if I bought a masterwork weapon. It's all good. I wonder if I actually give give Valerie that this potion, just chug it right away. I don't know how long it lasts though. One minute per level. So maybe a full minute. Give this a shot here. Let's just keep everyone information here. 
That would have been every advantage, everything to our advantage. Oh yeah, I got some, a couple more scrolls here. Protection from chaos. Summon monster. Oh, here we go. This will definitely be very useful. Do you have a formation checked out here? I see why I had it set up like this. Sure, I like that. Tartucci again. Hold you quickly now. All right, Harem, I would be happy to see you among my companions. Your faith does not oblige you to follow Someone fools and liars like Tartuccio. Yes, we got Harem. I see my magnificent. Yeah! Just like it was meant to be. All right. See, we still got the same level two fighter, level three fighter, level two fighter, and a wizard. The wizard's way back there. All right, we start with plain J this time. So let's see here. Let's try to take this this fighter out. He has the least amount of health, ranged, and plain J is supposed to be very good with the bow. So, however, you do want to get a little closer. I think try to get the point blank bonus. See if I can get it. Eight versus nine. All right. Do not need to step a little closer. That's okay. All right. What we're gonna do? We're gonna try and bottle these guys up here or distract them with Valerie over here. Keep them in the corner with Harem. And then I'll do bless. Turn these. Turn these buffs on as quickly as possible. Wow. That archer got enlarged. Alright, so definitely want to engage with the mirror here. And turn on all the buffs as much as possible. Can I get maybe can I get a rage charge? Can I get a charge? I can I get a charge. I can get a swing though. Nice. So Miri steps up, does 14 damage. Very easy to hit. Much easier than before. And Miri wipes her out when she attempts to make a uh, shoot with her bow here. So very, very fortunate. Karim was already, already down, though, from the level 3 fighter. Um, but it's still looking like it's in our favor here. 3 versus 4. Uh, the next target I definitely want to take out is that wizard, though. So I'm going to step up as much as I can here with Plain J. And do do as much damage as possible before it does does much else here. Wow, twelve, pretty hard to hit. I think because it's a shorter guy, a sh shorter individual. Uh, AC twenty one. All right, it's not too bad though. Unsure if we actually need this potion or not. It could be sting stinging. I'll give it a shot here. So. <laughs> Alright, looks like we have Acid Splash hit Plain J, but does zero damage. Yeah, we're very getting much, much, uh, much luckier this time around. Forgot I moved. I moved, which means I cannot cast Sleep. I'll, I'll, I'll try to daze instead. Looks like this, well, this mercenary has pretty high will. Or just plus four, well. Alright, so the days didn't work on the level 3 fighter here. We're gonna, we're gonna now smash the, try to smash the wizard with the Miri. Outstanding does 18 damage. Does not take it out though. Four more, four more health to go. Alright, looks like uh, these two, uh, both, both the enemy fighters swing and miss. Um, let's see if Plain J can take out the, the wizard here. And he does. Hits for a 9. Hits for 9 damage. I think I could stay right here, maybe position behind Lindsay for a little safety. All right, the next target definitely should Let be the level two fighter here. One. Should be easier to hit for most people. 
Um, and then we'll keep trying to daze uh, the bigger fighter. And he's succeeding with flying colors. I think I want to get at least the charge on the mercenary. However, I apparently I don't have a clear shot at this mercenary. Okay, so I guess I want to step up and get get the swing in at, at the very least here. Wow, swings and actually hit 17 damage. Amiri's doing tons of work here since uh, healing fully. Uh, it's like it's night and day uh, relative to before. So lesson learned there. When you have stat damage, spend all that time to heal up. Unsure how this is going to impact our campaign in the long run, though. A little, could be a little worried. I'm unsure if I should switch targets. Actually, both these have AC 25, but now the level three fighter has um, less health here. So yeah, definitely should kind of switch targets, adjust and start hitting this uh, level three fighter. Since they're at the same AC anyway. All right, looks like both Val Valerie and Plain Jane is here. We're gonna attempt two days. Hmm. I wonder if I can actually sleep this. The the shittier the shittier fighter, level two fighter here. Uh, looks like he actually made the own, the will attempts the the will save on the level three fighter instead. I'm not sure how, I thought it would maybe pick the the one closest to the center, but I guess not. I kind of wonder which one it prioritizes when I do cast it with a a bunch of uh, other characters there. I know there's like a certain amount of hit dice it can affect or hit dice of creatures. So a little sad I actually impacted one. So yeah, we're gonna keep focusing on the, the weaker target here. Mary misses as well. A lot of missing going on. And it looks like Amiri gets hit here. Well, she's pretty much designed to get hit. Her her AC is so low right now due to her being in rage. Jin makes an attempt to shoot and still misses here. And he's a 14. These guys are really hard to hit. Valerie also misses. And we'll make another attempt at sleeping here, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna put on the we're gonna try and remove this level three fighter from the equation here. Let's see if we get this check on just the level two fighter. It looks like uh, it looks like he made a saving throw though. Very unfortunate. All right, Miri misses as well. No one's really hitting each other uh, besides. Uh, yeah, there we go. A Miri getting Won't swung on basically. So it looks like we're we're racing now. Definitely trying to finish off the level three fighter here. Everyone's rolling low. And you know, have one more attempt here at sleeping either of these guys. All right, nice. Put a sleep on the bigger fight, the, the bigger fighter here. So we're definitely gonna save him for last at, at this point. And then five foot step away uh, from the fighter here, since we can safely. And then just go start going ham on this guy. Oh, I forgot to, to do a heal potion. Wow, he actually crits Valerie. Unfortunate. Nothing to worry about too much here. We're gonna focus on the small fighter. Crit miss from Plain J. And we'll, yeah, let's pop a potion in case we get critted for ridiculous amounts. Do not falter. See if we can kind of daze lock this uh, particular mercenary. Wow, rolls extremely high on the save here. Um, are we actually getting? We're we getting like flanking bonuses here. We are not. So I'm try to set up a flank position here. How much health we got here? Seven. Definitely gotta pop a potion. Really unfortunate, but I had to do it. All right, Valor gets hit again. Uh, we're uh, apparently the, the enemy has really good dice. Both of ours. Definitely crit, crit miss again for the second time with Plain J. Let's see if Valor gets to roll a little lower. No, it does not. Still needs twenties to hit. Uh, then we're gonna keep trying to daze. Yep. 
days this mercenary. We got the days. As long as this we keep this up, should sh we should have this kind of battle within our control at this point. Now we're getting close here. Uh, after playing J, of course, hitting for a huge amount. Well, what did he hit for? Eleven damage. Nice. All right, but we need to keep keep trying to lock lock him down here with days. Very good roller. One of the best in the world. Another crit miss from Amiri. I can't keep this up much longer. All right, Plane J makes another attack here, misses again with a five. We're definitely gonna spend this turn to chug two potions here. Getting hit a lot for having pretty high AC. All right, looks like the rage is off, and it's gonna be much harder for Amiri to hit. There's so many more attacks going into this guy, he shouldn't last too long, right? Got yeah, misses by Plane J here. Wow, crit hit from Valerie for 11, 11 damage. I could taste his demise soon enough here. Wow, very high, rolling very high in these, uh, these will saves, though. Alright, Plane J misses again. Unsure if the song is going to wear off soon. Alright, still succeeds. Need him to fail the will check at, I think, ten, 9 or 10. A little, little over 50 50 in his favor, but I feel like he should have been days a little more often than this so far. I definitely deserve maybe a couple better rolls than this, though. Uh, Valor's stealing all the good rolls. All right, finally we got a daze again. Second day so far. All right, Plane J makes another attempt, misses for the third time in a row. Stay behind Valerie me. swings, misses. Gotta keep dazing. All right, got the daze off. All right, finally critted to to finish off the finish off the. Um, uh, the little two fighter here, and now we're gonna switch the generous sword and kind of get this really big hit on him. Kind of want to delay my turn here for after Amiri. All right, sure. That's same, same for her Valerie as well. I think I want to put her actually after Plane J. Yep. Let's go after. Let's go after playing Jay again. Go Lindsay here, because I, I really want Amir to smack. Get this, uh, I think this is a guaranteed hit. I missed. I, I can miss the general sword, apparently. Hmm. Now position playing Jay behind uh, these two individuals here. Set up for the flanking, the circumstantial flanking bonus here. Get get another get another attempt at swinging. Hopefully, he doesn't get up. All right, cool. All right, Amiri, don't mess it up again. Nice. Needed a three to. I guess needed a three to hit. Doesn't wake up actually. I figured it would wake up, so that's why I wasn't hitting him in the first place. But I'll take, I'll take this as well. Okay, so I'm guessing he is awake because I needed a 20 to hit. I don't know why I needed a 20 to hit. It's kind of crazy. His total armor class is 29. Prone plus 4. I guess being prone makes him harder to hit. <laughs> this is funny. Alright, well, anyways, let's have a wheel on him. Oh, there we go. Now he's awake. But he's still pro like, he's still vulnerable. Bring it. Sometimes I maybe I don't, maybe I don't understand these rules. 
All right, no longer prone. Should be a little easier to hit. All right, we're gonna day spam here. Surely, Do with enough attacks, that. I can win, right? You can win. You survive. Well, Mary's down. I always survive. That is not good for us here. Oh, but thank, thank God, Plain Jay managed to do six more damage to finish off the level three fighter. Oh, that was really close. Very, very low on resources now, but let's see what we got here. All right, some fruits, a long, a normal long sword, nothing really insane or crazy. Nothing, nothing, none of these isn't worth all that much. I guess we'll just grab the fruit. It's very disappointing for the, the fight here. Oh, but we got harem. The true reward here. Definitely gonna put make him more more up front here. It's gonna help form the front line with Valerie actually. So then memory could, could be used for planking. I think that'll be the, the, the overall plan there. Alright, so what do we got for the level here? Ah, uh, looks like I gotta Yeah. No, no, no. So I guess maybe let's take a look at the character itself before we start trying to make decisions on Harem here. 14 strength, decent strength, pretty good constitution, very good wisdom. So it's, it's definitely going to be our, our healer. Thank God now we could use uh, Lindsay Moore as our support uh, to buff everybody and, and do some 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 damage. He's equipped with a flail, a one-handed flail, or two-handed flail. I'm not sure if I'm going I'm not sure what situations we're gonna switch a two-handed though. I'll keep it there for now, but I kind of like the idea of not being encumbered to begin with. Not like he really benefits from stealth, mobility, athletics, or dexterity anyway. Would he last? Would he? Oh, even remo removing doesn't even like benefit us at all. All right, where's chainmail? Six armor class. All right, sounds good. Let's kind of restack the, the potions here. The Lord knows we need it. I think eventually I'll put scrolls on them for now, but for now, I'll just stack the potions. All right, so what kind of spells we got going on here? A lot of spells. Um, it looks like we gotta actually choose which ones we memorize as well. A curse lot. And I wonder if True Strikes is something that he can constantly... I guess this is something he always remembers. So what if I remove both of these? Okay. So I can already cast Bless, right? I don't necessarily need Bless. So maybe I just use Banes? I know we can use these spell... Like, he can... He can already heal by using up a spell slot to, like, using up whatever is in a specific spell slot to actually heal. Let's see what else we got going on here. We've got some cantrips. Virtue. We can increase resistance. Or, or we can increase <laughs> hit points by one. Resistances on saves and guidance. Wow. Plus one on a single attack roll, saving throw, or skill check. This looks really useful. Uh, is this within touch? Yeah. It's fine by me. Just looking over the spells here, seeing what else. There's a lot of spells that go over here. I really forgot to even summon the Lindsay. I actually wanted to summon to have more bodies on the, the table here. Um, some monster actually looks really useful as well. This is a self bust, self bust stunning, stunning barrier here. Shield of Faith can can buff uh, Valerie. Which is really good because he should be placed next to Valerie as well.
So I think one Bane's perhaps worthwhile here. And then uh, a summon monster. Let's roll with this for now. What is meta magic? Oh, it shows me the domains. Here we got. Your touch infuses life and weapons with chaos. I'm a target with chaos as a melee touch. Okay, cool. So it makes it hard for the enemy to, to roll while attacks on. On me, assuming I can actually uh, touch it with a melee a touch attack. Destruction. It looks like, yeah, it looks like this guy, uh, Harem, is pretty good, uh, kind of doing damage on uh, and fighting on the front there using these low, uh, cool touch abilities. You can write a spell. I don't know what this means. Don't know what that meant. <laughs> I wonder if I used a charge or something. Can I rearrange the spell book here. Oh, because they have a lot of innate things, right? This chaos to touch and this destructive smite. Touch of chaos and destructive smite are something I just come with. I wonder if these share the same amount of these seven charges too. Would be good to know. All right, so we pretty much designate him as our. He's gonna be our healer, right? So we gotta go back. Oh, and I forgot we gotta turn off this whole, yeah, auto leveling feature. Yes, I'm. I'm sure. Definitely gonna roll with the cleric though. Still, so we get out of this. Get increased saving throws, base attack bonus, more spell slots. I wonder if I get. Spell slots refresh that leveling as well. Yeah, nothing, nothing crazy here. So looks like we'll be, we'll be mostly getting more spells, more skills, more spells. All right, we got a total two skill points. This intelligence isn't all too high. So what do do with them? I guess he definitely gets lore, lore religion. Trust this guy for for religion. And you can never really go, be too wrong with increased perception as well. Yeah, sure. So I'll roll these two. And then pick a pick some new spells. I'm guessing. Or maybe I don't have to pick them. Nothing to choose. Yeah, nothing to choose here. All right, cool. Looks like easy leveling here for, for clerics. And no refresh my spell slots here. However, I should probably go back into my spell book again. Yeah, now oh now I've an extra extra slot here. Rest to restore spells. Channel positive energy. Heals all living creatures in the third for radius. Okay. Standard action. But there's a, a way for clerics to use their spell, like, like use their spells as a heal, basically. Yeah, damage undead. Oh wow, this is like a separate ability. Why is this not on the bar? It's the wave of energy, okay. Spontaneous healing, right. A good cleric can channel 
stored spell energy into healing spells that she did not prepare ahead of time. The cleric can lose any prepared spell that is not an Orson or Domain spell in order to cast any cure spell of the same spell level. So how do I use that? Oh. There we go. Figured it out. Alright. I think we have to loot some more bodies here. We got the Maybe the wizard has something real good here. Yeah, sure, let's take this necklace. Sounds pretty good. Like crossbow, alright. Where's this arch that we downed back here? Here we go. Composite longbow, yes. It's worth a lot. This is worth a lot too, chocolate, wow. Surprised. Stuff of leather, I'm gonna pick this up for Lindsay. So she doesn't have to be encumbered. And then swap swap the heavy crossbow with the light crossbow. Wow, finally I'm in light. What's the penalty again? I forgot what the penalty is for being medium encumbered. Minus five speed. Yeah, I don't know. The speed really hurt me. I don't think that really hurts me. Maybe that's why I actually decided on this setup. For now. Oh, forgot to even equip this. <laughs> Put this on Valerie here. All right, let's look at this. Take a closer look at this fragment of. Scorch fragment of a necklace. Find all the fragments and arson with enough skill to re could restore this necklace for me. Okay. So I guess I'll keep these fragments then. Alright, looks like I invested a lot in this. And I feel like I should probably we do rest. It Should I rest inside the dungeon, though? I don't like this idea. So, let's see how much time I lose by stepping out. Oh, wow. It looks like we got a little book, uh, book situation here. It looks like we lost track of Tartuccio. He just kind of ran away after we stole one of his party members. We would not give up. Let's try not giving up here. And we looks like uh, we or we found a trail here. I wonder if it's going to ask if we're going to follow this trail. We try to imagine who or what left those claw marks. So there's claw marks on this trail. Fourteen. Now it needs a fourteen roll here. That's a that's pretty hard. Or DC fourteen. Oh, it's a DC fourteen. So we got a plus six. So what? Eight or better? A little a little more than fifty. About six percent, I think. Yeah, let's, let's try to see what this what these claw marks are. So we couldn't determine who attacked our two his companions. Ooh, it's ominous. Maybe we could detect magic. Alright, there's an illusion spell. Near where the lonely trail descends into the gully. I don't think I would follow that trail then. Maybe study the trail first before going down it. Little shoe prints turn into little claw print. Claw prints, okay. It was as if someone from Tartuccio's band was wearing shoes and then either took them off or grew claws, then jumped into the gully to avoid battle. 
So maybe we follow the trail along the path to avoid the illusion. Oh, then we got attacked by kobolds. So we, we lost track of this whole thing to begin with. Oh, this is very unfortunate. I'm in another battle. <laughs> maybe I should have slept in the tomb. Oh boy, leave Amiri alone. And they get the first few hits. Wow, this is insane. How many of these guys do we have to fight here? Alright, five. Let's examine them. 22 hit points a pop. Holy cow. I kinda wish I saved. 18 hit points. We don't even have health on that guy. So these two fighters, though. Alchemist? Fighter? Alchemist. It's two fighters, three, or three fighters, two alchemists. We are extremely diminished. But we must not give up. Um, what we do have, though, with Lindsay is... I don't think I wanted to use that. <laughs> I failed anyway. It's okay. All right, playing Jay here and definitely need to step away here. Just kind of pop him in the face. What kind of ACs are we working with here? 22. Wow. How about back here, 20. All right, let's see if we can have playing Jay snipe, snipe the back line here. Out of my way! All right, miss. Need, need a 14, miss. I don't want to... Actually, I, I should pop, pop the positive energy here. Let's do that. All right, so we can position crate flanks here for Amiri. Oh wow! Looks like one of Kobold's Kobold archers uh, shot and hit Lindsay. Well, it's called an archer, but it's actually a oh, it's a fighter. Okay. Oh, we have nothing on that fighter. Yeah, I think I want to send Amiri out there actually. We'll have uh, we'll have Valerie delay after Amiri, so Amiri could kind of step out here. But for now, I'm gonna actually do an attack and then do five foot move maneuver here. I think I'll get a flanking bonus on this guy. All right, oh, I need to switch uh, weapons as well too. A lot, a lot of bad things happening here. All right, so I do want to step, Onward. step Valerian closer. Did not want to swing. Okay. I'm not sure how many things I don't want the game to do for me. But oh, no. I thought you happen know. here, but it's, it's not looking good for me. Nice, I like those rolls. All right. So we got three three units here. I think, you know, I'll just hang tight with Lindsay here. The magic missile, something down. That is the question. Sure, why not? Let's try to get this Alchemist Apprentice, and it looks like he's immune to magic missile. Oh, because of the shield. Oh, lesson learned here. Read things a little closer before doing things. Plus four bonus to constitution, plus two natural armor bonus. All right. This game is absolutely brutal. Well, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep persisting here. Try to take out this alchemist or apprentice. AC's armor class is actually twenty six. Okay, so I should have trusted the. I was hoping the the tooltip will actually have included it inside of the its stat sheet, but I guess not. So that's another thing we learned here. Try this burst again. Boom, all right, good heals. And then position Harem better. Another shield. Oh, it looks like you want to tie up Amiri here. Also has mutagen, okay. I 
does, cannot, doesn't have a ta oh, it's a ranged, oh, it's a ranged, it's holding a ranged weapon. Yeah, why not? Oh, probably this turn might be good just to switch the, the weapon here and then just do swinging. I need a 20 to hit this guy, holy cow. Alright, everyone's tagging different targets. It's not both of them, I should have blessed as well. I hit by a massive AoE attack. Lost. And Harem's already down. Alright, so it looks like we got four individuals here. Maybe a good time to, to cast. Actually, should probably summon a monster. Let's uh, summon a monster. Looks good to me. And then we need to do something. These alchemists are very hard to hit. Maybe this archer is easier to hit back here. Let's try to shoot them downtown here. That was correct. Oh, I ended up getting a crit though. Um, looks like that. That kobold's about ready to go down there. Lost. Holy cow, we took another massive hit from these potions. What are they doing? Do they? Oh, they all start taking damage as well from it. These, these kobolds are insane. Alright. Let's see if we can swing with the mirror here. Drink a potion. Five foot step. All right, nice. Nice crit from Valor here. Try to take out one of those zombies. Holy cow. Did, did Harem just die? That is the, the real question here. All right, step uh, Lindsay back a little bit here. Let's see if we're gonna have days with at least one of these uh, alchemists. They're out of, absolutely out of control. And I did not know monsters are out of my control. All right, cool, so we at least tied up that archer there. Um, what's good to know is that he's throwing these potions actually does not trigger an attack opportunity. Feels feels a little broke. But we'll, we'll deal with it. Down, Try to finish off this archer in the back, crit miss. All right, it looks like Plain J got taken out, but so is the fighter in front of him. This is, this is absolute insanity. Let's try, I guess, finish off this, this cobalt to my left here with Valerie. Let's wait for that next, maybe wait for that next uh, potion to explode. Alright, try to daze that alchemist. Failed. Okay, it does like a cone from a target. So it's really good in here. Uh, Miri attempts to hit this apprentice and hits. Does 14 damage. Really close to finishing this off here. Nice. I'm just waiting for the send to go down from these guys. The, these uh, alchemist potions here. They're just killing each other. This is this is ridiculous. Tear them apart. I'm not complaining, I guess. Need to use potions though. They're just killing each other. Day's one of them. Take a, take a little less damage. I dazed him actually, so this guy could attack and maybe finish him off for us. I forgot to bless this whole time, too. Nice. As, as I 
predicted. All right, so we've got to lock down this alchemist over here. And I'm going to step closer to, to Jay here. Maybe I can bring him back. I don't think I have... Ah, no, I don't have a... Don't have any uh, cure 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 spells here. Oh, so the archer attacked Valerie. He did only one damage to it though. We're gonna definitely bring uh, bring Mary back there to finish off his archer. Yay! Outstanding. Then we set up a charge back to his apprentice here as well. Thought I ended end it. No, I did not. Um, it takes up a lot of just potion drinking here. Step right in here, kind of threaten him. And then keep keep trying to daze him. He's gonna get off with another attack with the potions. Charge, nice hit. Uh, Mirror hits for six damage. Not as much as I hope, but we'll we'll, we'll deal with it. Bless here. Oh, but I still want to Potion, now plain Jay's dead. Chapter. What is my last save? Please tell me it was before the... <laughs> this hurts my soul. Yep, there's the strength damage. Alright, back to square one as of the beginning of this episode. Again, uh, a lot of lessons learned here. Uh, I guess I should do more saves. Uh, especially when I get done with a pretty hard encounter, but maybe we can reapply the principles that we've learned here. Um regarding a kind of sustain our formation, especially during dialogue, um, prioritizing the targets, maybe getting lucky a few times. Um, but yeah, this is still pretty fun and enjoyable, really just learning how to navigate this and the Pathfinder system overall. So uh, thanks for hanging in there with me. Um, and I guess I'll see you in the next episode when we may make this attempt for the third or fourth or fifth time, but at least we know what to do here. All right, take care.